Uh, and there's like a few different ways to do that. We have a copy data, copy and paste, and then quick copy. Uh, so using our knuckle again, I can go into, I'm going to turn these tolerances back on. I'm going to start with quick copy. And it should be right here. So here I'm going to uh, select on my knuckle and I'm going to apply it to the frame. Switch tolerance. So right now we have these four tolerances that I would like to bring over to the frame. So if I hit copy, it's just going to copy those same tolerances over. So now if I go up into the frame, it's going to have those new tolerances and I can edit them. Uh, I would have to edit them. So I would have to edit them. They brought over the still link to the CAD services on this knuckle. So I'd have to delete these and add um, the features based on the uh, the frame. But what this will do is also copy the type and direction. If I don't want to lose that, uh, it will copy over the range. It will copy over uh, the, the description. Anything that I don't really need to change that I already have specified in another tolerance or another move, I can copy those over uh, using copy data. So it'll be a good application of that. Well, see, so you have a fixture that's commonly used from one station to another. You got an underbody that's going. So you would want to duplicate these same tolerances from one fixture to another that are identical. You know, I, I know we're not planning on talking about that today, but when it's a total duplication, we can also use the, the mirror command, which will mirror all the moves, all the tolerance measurements as well. The copy data is commonly used when you have similar parts, not like totally separate parts. Similar parts that are used, like a fixture. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the you know, user makes a mistake and they don't want to copy, and you know, they put the talents in the wrong location. They want to just move it over. So it's not always a copy data. Sometimes it's a move, move talents or measure as well. We typically use copy data for the points when we're moving the object to the target point. We create a point on our object. We use copy data to copy them over to the target. But then the tolerance, you know, everyone's going to be a little bit different. You might have a move that gets used commonly over and over, so then you'll copy that move over. Yeah. So you might decide, I'm going to change my process. I actually want to, I want to actually move a DCS move from one level to another because you're doing a what if. So there's a lot of different scenarios of using copy data. Another kind of fast ease of use uh, functionality so you don't have to do everything one by one. You can speed up your modeling process. Great. So you want to go back to your agenda? Well, one of the other things that we were, I was going to show is um, quick copy. Quick copy. If I right click on here, go to quick copy, it will just quickly make a copy of that same tolerance right. uh, within the, the same part. Uh, it's going to keep the same CAD features. So if you're going from like a linear tolerance to, uh, or a feature tolerance is a better example. Feature tolerance, where I can quick copy and then go into that tolerance and change it whether it's a profile or a position tolerance. Uh, I can keep the range the same, I can keep the points the same, and then basically I've already got two or three tolerances made. So it's a nice just uh, faster modeling technique. Yeah. Especially if I've got multiple tolerances on the same part. Um, and then for most users, they already know what, you know, copy paste are. Uh, if we just select on a couple of these, we can just use copy and then paste it into, say, uh, another part. Uh, it's pretty much very similar to copy data or it's just copy and paste without using the dialogue.